everyone, I hope you're all having a good start to the week. This week I thought we'd tackle the research options within a university in a little bit more detail. So thank you so much for the comments. I know people are interested in the research route and the teaching route and the managerial routes at university. So this video is all about the research route. And I'm going to tackle explaining four positions that you might find at UK universities. So they are the research assistant, the postdoctoral research assistant, sometimes you'll see that as PDRA, the research associate and the research fellow. Now, those four terms will be on job adverts for research positions at UK universities. And it can be quite confusing trying to work out what the position actually involves. And before we go any further, what I'm going to chat about today in this video is from a UK perspective. Um, it's from my own perspective looking at the system. I've done a bit of cross-checking and double-checking from a few good reference sources to make sure that you know my terms and what, how I view things are the way that we tend to do things here in the UK. But, you know, it will vary subject to subject, university to university, country to country. These terms will be used in different ways. So please don't view this as being, you know, the absolute. If you're watching this and your university does it slightly differently, leave us a comment because it's so nice to be able to try to piece together how universities use their terminology differently around the world. But anyway, let's start with the research assistant. So I'm going to go from the most junior to the most senior and a research assistant is typically one of the most junior research positions at a university. Now you don't typically need a PhD to be a research assistant so quite often you find people taking these posts after their first undergraduate degree. Typically they tend to be quite short positions so a certain number of months, maybe a year, maybe possibly up to two years. And as a research assistant, you are employed to work on a particular project or a particular set of projects. So you will be working under the supervision of somebody else. There'll be a team leader, a principal investigator. And your job as the research assistant could be to run a particular experiment, to analyse some data, to do a bit of new computer coding, to research a particular topic. Um, but your work will slot together with the work of others in that research team. Now, this means they're a super good way to test out if you like research, to see if you like being in a research environment. And they're also really good to get some new skills. You might get to handle new pieces of equipment, research different topics. Um, so it's a good way to bolster up your CV if you're then thinking about applying for maybe a PhD. Um, of course, though, as the research assistant, because you are typically, I said, the junior researcher in that team, you're not often going to get first authored papers. So typically the publications that come out of that team will be authored by somebody else as the first author and you will be a co-author, which is still an absolutely fantastic achievement and something very worthwhile putting on your CV. But it's just kind of worthwhile recognising that you're not necessarily directing or leading the overall research. As a research assistant, you are playing a vital role in helping that team complete part of their research activity. Now, if you did a research assistant position, it might kind of let you decide whether you wanted then to take on a PhD. If you go away then and do your PhD, and that's typically three, three and a half years, then you can come back and then if you want to stay focused on research, the next step for you might be a postdoctoral research assistant. Now, sometimes in the UK, you'll see this abbreviated to postdoc. Sometimes you'll just see PDRA. But a postdoctoral research assistant is somebody who has done their PhD. So they've already got their doctorate. And now they're undertaking a fixed term period of research within an academic research group. So it gets a little bit confusing because sometimes universities will use the term PDRA, sometimes they'll call them a postdoc, and sometimes universities will refer to them as a research associate. So sometimes you're going to have that little bit of confusion where a research associate position, that title is actually being used to describe somebody who is doing a postdoctoral research piece of work. Okay, so as a postdoc, as a research um, associate, 
you are going to be working within a university research team. So as a, as a postdoc, you will have applied to a particular position um, and that position will exist because somebody at the university, a lecturer or a professor, has won some funding and has therefore got a project that requires research support. So as this postdoctoral research assistant, as this research associate, you will be reporting to that principal investigator. So there'll be an academic member of staff who you will be reporting your research into. However, this is a more advanced research position than the research assistant. So you will be actively encouraged potentially by this supervisor to start to form your own lines of inquiry. So how much academic freedom you get will very much depend on the group, the dynamic between yourself and the PI, how many people are in the group, whether it's an emerging area in a particular field of research that they want to do particular things in, whether it's a very focused funded project that you are really then locked only onto that project and you can't really maybe do too many of your own avenues of research. But again, it's a way to get more research experience. So within a postdoctoral research assistant position, you'll be typically looking after the PhD students. So you won't be formally supervising them, but you will be about to help them. You know, I work in physics, so the postdocs in our physics research group are very much you know, assisting the PhD students as they're going about their own research. As a postdoctoral research assistant, you'll be looking to get your own papers out and now you'll be wanting to get some papers where you're the first author and some papers where you're the co-author. Sometimes the PI will invite you to help contribute towards future research grants. So you'll start to kind of get some managerial experience and kind of going for grant applications. So basically it's stepping you on. So research assistant, you're very much a vital research part within a team. Then you do your PhD and then you can step up if you want to into a postdoctoral research assistant or a research associate where you take on a more significant piece of research, but you are still reporting to a principal investigator. And then after you've done that, so maybe then you've done, say, one postdoc, maybe you've done two postdocs, you then might think, actually, I'm really enjoying this side and I want to stay in research. So then because you've now got the PhD and the postdoc and you've got this research experience, you then might look to step up to become a research fellow. And a research fellow is a bit different. Quite often, you're not applying to a particular position at the university. So as a postdoc, you are applying for that postdoc position at a particular university. A research fellow, quite often you are applying to an external funded body, and sometimes you are applying in parallel with a university and seeing if you can win funds to secure that research fellow position. So a research fellow is a far more senior research position. You're going to have managerial responsibilities. You're going to potentially have staff to look after. Some universities, you will have to look after PhD students. And as a research fellow, quite often then you are the principal investigator. So now rather than reporting your research into somebody else, you are now in charge of leading that research direction. And so a research fellow can be a good way to go from a fixed contract to try to get a permanent contract at a university. So the research assistant, the postdoctoral research assistant, the research associate and the research fellow are typically all fixed term contracts. And by that, I mean they run for a certain number of years and then they stop. But if you're doing the research fellow, then it might be possible to talk with the university, to apply for future funding and to negotiate onto a permanent contract. And so what you might find is that some people enter a university and they start off by doing their PhD, then they do a postdoc, then they do another postdoc, and then they decide to apply to be a lecturer. So then they decide they want to go down the route of teaching and research. Whilst other people might come in, do their PhD, do their postdoc, they might then do a research fellow position and they might decide that they want to stay on the research pathway only. And so they might then look for another research, fellow, research fellowship or a senior research fellowship. Um, so you have this kind of dual point where people enter and then decide whether they want to go onto the lecturer route or onto the research only pathway. So hopefully that has made things a little bit clearer about the, the UK typical system. As I said, these are very kind of typical overview, general like statements that I'm making. Different universities will label things differently. And the only real way to work out the specifics of a particular job 
is to look at the job requirements and to look at the key job tasks. And if you get to the interview stage, to, to ask. Um, but the exciting thing is there are therefore opportunities to do just exclusive research at a university. And as you move up the research levels, you are going to take on more managerial research responsibilities. So, you know, you have more accountability for winning research funding, for managing a team of researchers and for making sure that the research output is of good quality. So that's a bit about the research pathway. I'm, as I said, on the different pathway. I'm on the lecturer, reader, fellow. No, <laughs> I've got my terms all confused. I'm on the lecturer, senior lecturer, reader, professor pathway. Um, but in future videos, I will talk more about the teaching only pathway and about managerial options within universities and technical technician positions as well. Um, but as I said, have an awesome Monday. I'm off to an in-person graduation this week, so I will get some footage if I can and, and show you all kind of what goes on, I guess, in the COVID secure graduation. But look after yourselves. Um, I hope this helped. If you're thinking about doing research and a research pathway at university, leave me a comment. Let me know what's your subject. You know, what area of research are you looking to specialise in? But yeah, have a great few days. Don't forget, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.